Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the channel. My name is Michael for Ford Truck Enthusiasts. This is the Bronco Raptor. That is my executive assistant, and today we're going to give you a quick tour of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and start under the hood here. I've got the hood popped, which, by the way, the hood looks totally cool with this giant vent. These are functional heat extractors up in here, very similar to the third generation Raptor design. We've got the graphics package, which starts here and continues on here in the back. Hi, sweetie. All right, underneath the hood, you're gonna see a variant of the Explorer ST engine. This is a three liter twin turbocharged V6, making, I believe it's 418 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of torque. Very interesting piping over here, just the way that the air comes in here, splits off going down to one turbo over there, one turbo over here, and then the compressed air, or the turbocharged air, I guess you'd say, gets piped in here down into the intercooler back up into this intake here, which is surprisingly small throttle body. I guess when you're compressing the air, you don't really need to uh, do too much in that regard. Sorry for the plane noise, you guys. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud on your end. Under, other things to note under here is you get the Ford Performance logo. Here you can see a little bit more of that venting that I was talking about. Um, and this is a really, really lightweight hood. I'm not sure what the material is, but I think it uh, must be some type of composite material. Out in the front here, we've got the Ford logo, which is consistent with most other Raptors. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. And you've got, of course, the DOT lighting, because this thing is actually almost as wide as the F-150 Raptor itself, even though it's a much shorter platform. It's basically, I think it's within an inch or so of the Big Daddy truck Raptor. Over here, you're gonna see this metal bumper, which can be disassembled, so you can have uh, you know, more approach angle and so forth. And you'll notice that it says Bronco on all the different bolts. We've got fog lights down here with the Raptor logo hiding these ones. We've got these recovery hooks up front. You've got various sensors and cameras going on here. You've got your bash plates. And here is a look at the Fox shocks, you guys. These are, I'm so excited to try these off-road. These are adjustable. They have different uh, dampening rates. And of course it adds an extra bit of travel over the Sasquatch and it's uh, very exciting, but you can see all the kind of the protective stuff going on under here. Coming around to the tires themselves, we've got black beadlock capable wheels right here. And these are of course the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2s which have been on the Raptor since the second, well, actually, the, the, this tire, this brand of tire has been on the Raptor the entire time, the F-150 Raptors, and the KO2s debuted right around the time as the second generation, and they've been continuously evolving to be specced to the different vehicles. And so these are the exact same tires as the ones that are on the Raptor 37 package, and that will be on the Raptor R. And of course, you can see right here, the FP, that's how you know this is the Ford Performance spec version of this tire. You could obviously buy universal variants and so forth. Um, coming up here, checking out the fenders, you guys. More heat extraction here to help with heat dissipation. These are a little bit different than, of course, they're a little bit wider by themselves. And of course, you've got the fender flares, which you do see on the Sasquatch package, but I think the Sasquatch package ones are probably about like half or maybe two thirds the width of these. So you're definitely a lot wider than the Sasquatch package. Another variant difference is the fact that here in the Raptor, you're gonna see this fender liner, which you don't see in the Sasquatch package. The Sasquatch package, they are almost encouraging you to take off these fender flares so that you could put on other accessories or go off-roading and so forth. And for whatever reason, uh, maybe it's a DOT thing, I'm not exactly sure. You would have to take off the fender liner first before removing this fender. So I'm not sure how you know easy or hard that is, but I'm assuming that they want you to keep this one intact. Coming along the side here, we've got the side rails, a step up here with the Raptor logo, very similar to what you're seeing in the F-150. We've got the back fender flares as well with some accessories. Uh, basically, anytime you see accessory ready on a Bronco, it means that they, they make this part removable so that you could put other things on here. Of course, we've got the Raptor logo. Another fun thing about Broncos, this is for all of them, is that the the side view mirrors are actually at, attached here to the vehicle, and that's so that you can take the doors off and retain your side view mirrors, which is a nice feature. You're also gonna see more Bronco bolts here, more accessory ready things. This can be removed to put some accessories. So it's a really tricked out vehicle, you know, for that type of 
customization and all that sort of stuff. All right, and moving around here to the back, let's check out the, what's this? Yeah! Ah, it's the executive assistant. Hello. I... All right. Hi, car fans. Hello. So, dude, what do you think of the Bronco Raptor? Do you like it? I love it. Well, I'm gonna finish making this video and then you can go play some more. So one of the fun things about the Broncos is particularly with these hard tops is that the little ones love to climb up onto the roof. It's kind of a, a jungle gym on 37 inch tires. So dad, are you ready to show them the whole entire Bronco? The whole and Bronco, there's a lot of cool features to talk about how this is different from a regular Bronco. It's way more better than the last Bronco. Yeah, it's taller and wider and faster. So dad, where do you want to go first? All right, well, I think I'm gonna talk about how expensive this one is. Okay. The one that we're looking at here in this beautiful Velocity Blue color stickers in, according to my research from Ford, at $80,690. It's blue all over the place. Yep. And black. With my daughter back inside, you guys can see here, there's a nice amount of room here back in this four door. I was actually, we're going on a little bit of a road trip today in the vehicle, not off-roading, but just kind of some highway cruising. And I was a little bit nervous about how much stuff we can get in here, but yeah, this is a good amount. I think we're gonna have plenty of room. And of course you've got some 12 volt connections here. And um, this is not a connector actually, but what you do is that when you take the, the hard top roof off, you take these connections here and you affix them over here so they don't dangle around and, and do sorts of things. Uh, we've got the um, rubber carpeting here down on the ground to protect everything. This is a bag so you can hold the uh, the roof panels that you can remove, the hardtop roof panels. And so, uh, yeah. And when uh, closing up the Bronco door, you gotta remember to close the glass first. And then you close the door full size 37 inch spare in the back. So it's got a kind of a revised third brake light situation that comes up just a little bit higher to clear the tire. Raptor logo down here, Bronco logo in black here. It's, it was chrome on the Sasquatch edition that we had review. And you've got your tow hitch down here. And the last thing I think to talk about on the outside is here, we've got the hard top roof here. It comes apart in, let's see, one, two, three, four pieces. So basically two panels over here, which we have kind of sitting off to the side so the little one can climb on the roof. We've got this passenger big section that can come off. And of course you can take off the rear section here. The whole thing comes off as one piece. Uh, it's basically kind of a two person job because it's, it's not terribly heavy, but it's just a little bit awkward. Um, you got the locking keypad right here. Man, it's funny. This is an $80,000, almost $81,000 vehicle and it's still got the plastic handles to to get inside the doors. All right, coming inside, you guys. It's very reminiscent of the Raptor 37 that we had for review, including down to, I think these are almost exactly the same seats. These are kind of Recaro bucket seats with the Raptor logo in blue leather with some orange accents. That's the new kind of Ford Performance color right now. This car also has the carbon fiber package. So you're gonna see carbon fiber accents everywhere on these handles leather wrapped steering wheel, more carbon right here. You've got all your buttons to control, your steering, my mode, suspension and exhaust, in addition to all the kind of the radio controls. You've got your controller here. This is a 10 speed automatic car. I believe it's the 10R80, uh, again, out of the Raptor. You've got your mode selection dial here. So you swivel here to do your different goat modes, go over any terrain modes. And then you've got your gear selection tools here for low, too high and so forth. Uh, just like on all Broncos, you've got your window controllers here in the center. They are not on the doors, and that's because you can take the doors off. And the passenger ones are here in the back. So you can see the passengers have, in addition to some power outlets, they've got their window controls right here in the center stack. You've got a little cubby hole here. It's not a lot, lot of space, but it's a pretty nice amount of space, and it is uh, lockable along with the glove box, which is right over here. And again, that is lockable. All right, let's see, starting things up here, bring the key fob in here. All right, we got our digital gauge cluster, which looks really nice. And we've got the 12 inch 
infotainment screen, and I believe this is Sync 4. So you're gonna have your Sirius XM, AM, radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless, phone settings, I haven't connected yet, navigation, different apps, different settings for the vehicle itself. You can adjust, I mean, this is kind of like infotainment settings, and then you've got some extra features here, zone lighting, this and that. It's a nice system. Got more Bronco logos over here. Here's gonna be your various mode buttons for off-roading. You got your trail turn assist, traction control off, rear locker, front locker, and this is the trail turn assist. Up here you've got your accessory switches for wiring in extra things that are not already included. This is available on the Sasquatch and a few of the other packages, so not necessarily exclusive to the Bronco Raptor. Got your garage door programmer right there. All right, coming into the back seat, you guys, more blue leather, more orange accents. Not quite as much room as the F-150, obviously because this is a much shorter vehicle, but still a good amount of room. We've got the power outlets like we showed you before. We've got the Bronco logo on this rubber mat protecting everything. Not much for under seat storage. You can kind of see in there just a little bit. You've got some, you can hang things off the back like you can with other Broncos. Uh, oh, another thing to talk about is that, you know, for taking off the doors, this is actually a really simple process. Basically, you've got a couple bolts at the hinges and this electrical connector. You take those out and you can basically just lift the door off and away from the vehicle. Uh, again, it, it's kind of a nice to have a buddy help you with it just so you don't scratch up any of the paint in here, which looks really lovely. Again, Velocity Blue, which I love. Here on the inside, you can notice that this hard top has the sound deadening. It'll be interesting to see with the Bronco Sasquatch, the base Sasquatch, I should say, that we had in for review. It wasn't that particularly noisy, but these tires are a lot bigger. So it'll be interesting to see what the road noise is like when we take it for a drive. You got the big crossbar here in the back which is gonna be home to the sound system. This is the upgraded sound system. So this is the first time I'm gonna be experimenting with a good sound system in the Bronco. So we'll see how that kind of works out. Oh, one other thing that I forgot about the front, you guys. While I absolutely love these seats, they were fantastic in the F-150 Bronco and I look forward to sitting in them. I am a little bit disappointed that, this, again, this is an $80,000 Bronco and there's no cooled seats. You've got the heated seats, heated steering wheel, but no cooled seats, which is, comes with these exact same or seats that look almost exactly the same that are in the F-150. So that's a bit of a bummer. But overall, this is a really, really nice place. Again, very reminiscent of what Ford is doing in terms of quality with the Raptors. The Raptors are performance and a little bit of luxury. So overall, this is a really cool truck. All right, guys. Oh yeah, do you hear that? Do you hear the V8 in the distance? That's how this should sound, yeah. Uh, all right. So there you have it guys, a quick tour of the Bronco Raptor. Be on the lookout for more coverage just kind of to get a sense of its driving style, speed, and kind of a couple other things. But, you know, from the outset, it looks super cool. Love this color, as I've said 45 times. It's just crazy to see it being this wide. The Sasquatch package is pretty wide, and this thing is going to be a challenge driving in the city, but this thing is going to be home out in the desert, which we are going to test out in the coming days. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are well and safe and we will see you on the next video. Cheers. Okay, hold on a second. All right, can I have that? So this is the Raptor's trunk. You can go inside it with that bright blue color. That the, that the bright blue actually looks better on the camera. Oh yeah. All right, so can you close the lid? Yep, closing the lid. Gotta do the glass first. All right, watch your fingers. So we are in the whole entire trunk. How do you love that? Some vines, some lights. It's blue all over the place.